Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to roll slabs using a slab roller, which is this piece of equipment. It's a little bit quicker and easier to do larger slabs of clay than you could do with a rolling pin. So I have the slab roller. I have this big piece of canvas that sits around here. So you don't want your clay to touch this wood, which is shiny. It's a sticky surface where your clay could get stuck, or you don't want it to touch the two wheels that you see here. Uh, if the clay touches them, then it'll get stuck in there. So the canvas is what keeps it from getting stuck through this process. So the first step when you're approaching the slab roller is to take and make sure the canvas goes all the way across the whole piece. So if you notice, I'm putting it like I would a bedspread or a blanket over the whole bed. I'm just covering up the orange bar, the wheels, everything you see here with the canvas, keeping it in a straight line, okay? So everything's covered. Now I'm ready to put my clay on. Uh, I have checked the depth of these wheels. They should always be at the correct depth, but you can always look at the two wheels uh, just down here to make sure it looks like it's the right thickness of clay that you want. Uh, if you need to change that, please ask me and I can help. All right, so I have my chunk of clay. This is a little bit too thick for me to stick through the slab roller. Uh, maximum, you wanna stick something that's about an inch thick so I've got a little bit of work to do, and I could simply do this by hand, by pressing the clay down, or a quicker way is to go back to our old fashioned rolling pin, just kind of hit it down. This clay is a little bit harder, so it'll take a little bit more work to kind of get it into that position. Now, as I am prepping this clay, I need to think about what shape I'm creating. If I wanna make a long rectangle, then I can put the clay through just as it is now. But if I want it to be more square, I might need to stretch it out in one direction by hand right now, and then put it through in the other direction in the slab roller. Because remember, it only stretches it like this. All right, so you can see, let me do one more. All right, so now my clay, is a little bit thinner, so I'm ready to put it through. I like this depth, so now I'm gonna stretch it this way by putting it through the slab roller this way. Okay, to begin with, I stand over here. I put my clay in the center, right up against where the wheels would be, but remember, I can't really see them, the canvas is in the way. And now I go to the big orange wheel and I turn it towards the windows. So right now the wheels are turning, but you notice my clay is not doing anything. So I'm just gonna give it a little push to get it started. And now it does the rest on its own. So I can simply turn the wheel. You can see my clay is disappearing through. And I'll know it's done when all of a sudden I don't feel the pressure anymore. Basically, there's no more clay and it's gone all the way through. All right, so I feel it super easy, super light. Now I just have to pull my canvas through at least the top layer and you will see I have my slab of clay, okay? Before working with it, I would probably take a sponge and just smooth over the surface so that it is nice and clean and smooth. And that's how you roll a giant slab.